Maybe a few lostness just for a minute or two. And you leading by two and nicely on this five ball. Six waiting over the corner. Seven nicely lined up with a ten. So anywhere kind of straightish on this seven would be ideal. Hopefully, I'm joined by Tim de Reuter from the Netherlands. Are you there, Tim? Tim? Tim de Reuter is right back in the building. Okay, so yeah, we have missed maybe half a rack. It looks like Hanyu is going to be on the hill and quite dominating over Sofia Mast. Yeah. We may have missed half a rack, but Han Yu has missed very, very little indeed on the hill. As you say, in this first set, two races to four, remember, and this is a loser's side match. So whoever finishes second in this, their Las Vegas Open is over for 2024. Who have you seen so far, Tim, that's been impressing you in either the ladies or the the man's event? Well, I haven't seen too much of the ladies event, to be honest, so far. I've seen a little bit of Christina Tkach playing quite decent. So that was a good start. Um, in the men's event, I'm actually quite impressed by Shane at the moment, Shane Van Boning. Usually he starts to play well in a later stage of the tournament. Now it looks like from the beginning he has a pretty good feel. Feel for the kicking, feel of the speed. So very dangerous. I would say Shane is one of the favorites this week. Yeah, and very, very interestingly, Tim, in Austria he won the eight ball, didn't he, on these tables. And he hasn't had a lot of time on these tables on the Predator Apex. But he seems to have got the hang of them now. And yeah, could do a lot of damage. Back to this one then. And you breaking off on the hill. Looking to finish the job. And the three ball somehow made it in. Has a clear look at the one. Two in the open. Well, good chance here, Tim. Yeah, just that one ball looks easier than it is maybe. Um could draw in the side pocket by accident. You just want to kill right before the side. And then cut the two ball in and go around to the four ball. Yeah, this is the shot, isn't it? Will she yeah, maybe, absolutely. Will she take on the four, eight maybe? If she can get to it. No, it, I believe she has to go three rails and try to get the four ball on the same side as the... Now she is playing the four eight. I do not like this at all. I think this is super tough. A little bit of angle, quite some distance. But in Austria, I've seen her do the same thing. She shoots extremely straight. No, she just chose to play safe. But she's not yeah, shy she... to to wing at something very difficult because she has a very smooth technique. You can see she plays hay ball or Chinese eight ball as well. Yeah, and you have to shoot super straight to play that game. Very tight pockets, snooker pockets with pool balls. And that was a really good hit, Tim, but unfortunately She's left this on for Han Yu to run the set. Yeah, and especially if she can get a little bit decent on the five. Not that much to do after. Just a four ball is carry. It's going to get far and yeah. Could have done maybe by double speed with a little bit of right spin. Come back out. That's our referee. EPBF referees being used for all the PBS events now. 
While we're talking of referees, Tim, I just want to say a special message to John Lehman, who has given us a lot of service over the years, and we're wishing all the best in his recovery. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Wasn't easy, was it? Yeah, that was for sure a tester, and it shows also that Sophia has not been putting any pressure on, yeah, on you so far. A little bit jacked up to find the kiss with the ten. Oh, oh. squeezed it in. Yeah, I was very focused on the cue ball. Perfect cue ball, but that six ball could have stayed up. So now if she can hold the cue ball on the nine, could also go with topspin into the short rail and come back out if she doesn't like to play it soft. And that's gonna be the first set. I barely seen Sofia this set, only a couple safeties in the first game, maybe the first game and a half. Barely seen her after. Yeah, class player Han Yu. She's been there before, she's done it all. Reached the final of the 10 ball on her comeback after she left the sport alone for a little while. And Sophia knows she's in the match here. Let's just go around the room very, very quickly, guys, while the referee sets them up for the, the next set. Margaret Fefalova back in action after losing in a great match with Christina to catch earlier on. Margaret has taken a 3-0 lead in her match against Diana Coronado. Silviana Lu from Indonesia has taken a one-set lead. Uh, who else have we got? Monica Jabek has taken the first set also against Francis So And Bojana Sarac. Bojana is 1-0 up in sets against Shirin Voluntary. And one more to give you very quickly. Savannah Easton, who won her match earlier on, then got knocked to the one loss side, is a set down to Germany's Yvonne Ullmann. Hebler, okay, back to this one, set number two. You breaking. Seven straight in the corner. Tim, what a good break that was. Look at this. One ball. Oh, look at the four. Yeah, the four's okay as well. The three ball is fine. The four ball is fine. Just connecting the dots. Look, nice cue ball. Look at the cue ball. Stopped right there. Cannot hit it any better. Oh, this is the best break I've seen today, to be honest, from any of the women's matches. That was a really, really good break. Oh, doesn't want to bump oh, the wants... six. Oh. Well, it's worked out okay, hasn't it? Look, I think the four passes, Tim, doesn't it? It's super close. If it doesn't, she has made... No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. I was going to say, she no. really made this a lot more work than it should be. So Still a possible carom. Still a possible carom, maybe, Tim? From the four to the six, if she gets over on the rail. Well, what I also, that? yeah, I was going to say what I also don't mind is getting to the center of the table, play the combination with a little bit of draw, and the four ball is going to cross over to the other long rail, and you can have it in the corner. So center of the table would be nice here. Bo 
Well, you don't get any more centre than that, do you? Great shot. So here's the important shot. It was always going to be about the four. Well, it's not a hanger. Should go in, but it's not guaranteed. And you see, this is why I said it, she had to play with some draw. Because the four ball was always crossing over to the other long rail. This is a little misjudgment. And she did call the side pocket, but she's going to be so far away from the five. It's a big pocket with the eight ball there. Just don't see that much future in it. The five ball after is not a shot everybody would want to take on. Maybe she's going to power it in. Maybe she's going all out. We know she's feeling confident, Tim. Well, you called it a big pocket by the eight. And she's definitely not scared to shoot. So she is going to wing it this five ball as well in the bottom left. Right, oh, here is the four. Cue ball. Well, she's not panicking. Well, she did. Fi she find a way to hide her feelings, but I wouldn't be too happy being there. But she's also pretty good at those really soft, slow roll like this nine ball too. She makes that look very smooth and easy. Well, she's but come with some great shots, Tim, hasn't she, in this run out? Really good shots. This is a classy clearance. Yeah, so far, almost no shots for Sophia Must. Is Very also, calm, I was also going to mention the fact that, of course, Sofia did have a big struggle match against Savannah earlier, losing the match 4 3 4 3, where she could have won or, oh no, no, she went into a shootout. So it's not easy, you know, especially being that young to recuperate from losing a set, then having to play another match straight away it's costing a lot of energy so maybe Sofia is not feeling too great at this point I mean this is also experience most of the players do get this when they get at a later stage I mean she's only 15 years old Tim it's I don't think I'm not sure that the tiredness would come into it but certainly the mental side of it where you know, she would have been really disappointed with her match against Savannah. Yeah, but, it, but it's really tough to stick to fighting your heart out. It's not a guaranteed, you know. There's a little bit more emotion in a younger player. So yeah, very true. I'm, very true. I mean, I, I do think she's doing a good job, but it, it, I can understand why she might be playing a little less now than maybe a different match. That's the only thing I'm saying. 
and Han Yu is looking comfortable, really. Yeah, I mean, she's not had the real chances, has she? Han Yu has missed very, very little. And there's another example. What a great shot that was from near the rail. Drawn across perfectly for this combo 3-6. Well, she's got I mean, that was ball a in hand. Shot. It's like ball in hand on the on the combination. Look, she, she's almost straight. She's perfect shape almost. Just not hit it too firm. Maybe small draw. The three ball will go to the short rail. Once she played follow. Okay, I don't mind the follow. It's just that she got very straight on this three ball. Can she maybe rail first it slightly, Tim? Or is she just going to take her medicine, just stun it in? She might still be able to still force a little angle out. But don't play this too firm. you got to smooth stroke it. Oh. I mean, this is the stuff she's been doing. Like, she's treating these pockets like... <laughs> like, it, like they're, like, extremely huge. It's... I mean, I'm not saying... Of course, other pro players will do the same thing, but... That's why I say there is a lot of quality. But she's finally missed a ball. I'm not saying I'm happy about it, uh. but more saying there is a chance for Sophia. Yeah, and I was just going to say, you mentioned the, the hay ball that she's used to playing on. Very, very tight pockets. These must seem really big to Han Yu. And then she's gone and missed that one, but it wasn't an easy shot, was it? So two rail kick here. I don't know what she's called, if anything. Maybe call the eight Tim in the side, something like that. Depends how hard she's going to hit it. Well, I do 100% like how she hit the four in terms of how thick. The only thing is she's played the wrong speed. She had to play the speed to where the four was going to run into it, the seven ball soft and cue ball behind the cluster. She played it too firm and... That's all she wrote for this rack, I believe. Unless... Oh, she's not finished perfect on this one. She's going to have to draw off. Can she draw off the, the short rail and back over? For the I seven think into the, the bottom right, right as we look. She might have to play with more draw. I mean, I might be wrong. If she catches a 10, she will not be great on the seven, yeah. If she had played with a little top spin, she could have nudged the 10 and still moved forward to the short side of the 7. Oh, beautiful shot again. How well is she making these balls, Tim? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like sometimes she does play a strange cue ball, but then the recovery shots are looking so easy. And you. Players already through to the women's qualification. Chao Che Yu is up against Elu Kibaroglu later on this evening. Centino is up against Jasmine Ocean. Now that's a repeat of the semi final, Tim, of Puerto Rico couple of years back and Pachen is up against Bean Hung that's an interesting match Pia Filler will play the defending champion Seo Seo up Alison Fisher how about this for a match up Alison Fisher against Simi Chen Christina to catch against Christina Zleteva Wei Chu Chen the birthday girl 
will be playing Mighty Rapero. And Yuki Hiraguchi plays Kelly Fisher. All those matches tonight at 7.30 p.m., guys. Back to this one. Han Yu in control, looking to get on the hill. A set up and two racks up. Another square hit, just the cue ball moving slightly to the left, oh. so a little bit more cut. And wow, had a roll. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe she can mess a around the seven. She's doubting it. I'm starting to doubt it too. She might have to play the one ball to the short rail and then the cue ball into the long rail glued to the seven ball I think she's attacking no she's not yes she is attacking she tried to take it off the jaw well very brave effort and she might have left shot on this one ball yeah so by trying to make something happen while it m might not have been there she's left such an open chance for Han Yu yeah and this time all the balls in the open one leads to the next Oh, I just to say, the Tim. Four, the four and a five ball could be tricky still. Yeah, I think this is the key in this rack. It needs to get nicely on the four. Might just move the five here now, then. I don't think she's got an option. Would you take the risk here, Tim, and just give it a little nudge and hope for something yeah, I good? I think you have to. I don't think you can go up and down, back and forth. Some nudge. That's a good thing though, if you can play this soft, if you get the shape to the corner, you can still shoot. If you don't get it, you play the stop shot behind the eight. Yeah, I think she's still fine for the corner, so beautiful kiss on the five. You can draw past the side pocket, can't Ooh. she? Oh, she's missed it. A little bit of movement, maybe thinking too much about that six ball but she actually she did poke at the cue ball if you looked at her stroke she just tapped the cue ball and pulled the cue back Extension. still got the save and difficult because Sophia the last couple games she's only been kicking or jumping Jump stick again, I believe. Tough jump. Like a praying mantis. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. Does she get on the six? Does she get on the six? She has. <laughs> she has. She what has. a shot. now get a rack on the board and who knows she'll be breaking the next one and that's just sums this up doesn't it Tim this uh, format because you can be cruising and coasting then all of a sudden one missed ball can turn a match and all of a sudden you're looking at a shootout okay a long way to yeah, go that, yet but. yeah but you know it's that is the format the format leaves the match open. You could be sitting in your chair for 20 minutes, come back and still win the set. I'm 
Nicely just done. Good speed. It has confident shot, probably the most confident shot she's played, and that jump shot on the five. Who knows what it could lead to? It certainly sparked something in her, isn't it? She gets her first game on the board. And it's about time as well. Needs to make something happen. The loser of this match is out of this year's Puerto Rico Las Vegas Women's Open. earlier on had a great win didn't she over Wang Wang Ling Christina to catch as well I don't know if you saw any of that match Tim Christina to catch was in great form very very clinical showed that she's putting been putting lots of work in played exceptional and Ailu Kibaroglu as well looking good after her recent win in states also Yeah, a lot more top Europeans as well at this event. Slowly rising every year, so I think the field is pretty intercontinental. And this makes it also a world stage field. Safety behind the three ball, or could Nick the one the other side and go the She plays these kind oh, of shots shot. so strong. Did she get just past the side? Or at least I guess she'll have to be kicking unless she can thin the one, but I believe she will have to go around the three ball. Oh, she's got the jump cue out. Going airborne. I think nope. she's swerving. Oh, swerving. Well, I was definitely not expecting such a big mess, eh? But I actually think she's got the cover. You see, she actually missed the one, but on the way back, she's got the hook. She's going back where it was. Behind the eight, might be just a thin edge on offer here for Sophia to get down behind the nine, ten, two kind of area. Or maybe not, she's kicking at this, is she? No, no thinning the one. Thin. Can she yeah. get two rails behind the ten? Has to go. She certainly has. Perfect. Oh. Oh, this is a good chance. I don't think Henyu will hit the one. And she's got a nice setup for another safety on the one. Potential three fouls. Complete misjudgment. I think the shot clock got her a little bit as well. Hurried it at the end. So Sophia with a chance. Will she hook at him or will she go for the run out? Yeah, I really do like the hook. And if she can think about where she's going to place the one, if she can get the one ball underneath the 10 to play another easy safety after. Might even have a go at the 110. 
No. Settling for the safety. Yeah, but this is costing her the opportunity to get to the three fouls. Of course, it's still possible, but... If the one is more nearby other balls, the chance to make a foul is also bigger. Yeah, and she should be glued up behind this eight as well. Yeah, and if you don't, I was going to say your opponents usually come up with a nice return. And she was close. Close sticking the cue ball with the two. On the other side, the balls are open now for Sofia to go. Nicely judged. A bit of a stretch here though. She's not the tallest of young ladies. She's still got some growing to do. Difficult position for the four. She's a little bit off angle on the three ball. I think she got straight on the four. Best thing she can do Slightly is get back where she, if she can get back to where she is now. That might be her best option. Three rails position here. Three times a long rail. And the reason, him. the reason why I chose three rails is to at least stay away from being at the rail. She played it to just two rails and look at how far the cue ball has rolled on. Difficult six ball. Same thing, I will go two rails. Playing so soft, she's done great, but I really don't like to play that pace. So, still at the table, she could level the score here, Mark. Yeah, and you wouldn't have thought that, Tim, would you? Everything was going Han Yu's way. Let me on the five ball. And the match. So key shot obviously now then get on this nine ball decently. Oh, oh no. It's a bad miss. It's a bad miss, isn't it? I think she just got up off the ship. She was standing up, wasn't she, when she finished playing the shot? So taking full advantage, Han Yu here, this 10 ball to make it to the hill and it's going to be an uphill battle for Sophia from here we've seen how well Han Yu's been breaking as well Tim and she'll be really really disappointed with that eight ball that she missed she can sort of smile about it but I'm sure she's hurting inside it's going to be a tough one Yeah, to be honest, I was quite surprised to see that eight ball being missed. You 
just shows you, doesn't it? You can't, you know, say, people say disrespecting the balls, you know, not giving the balls the attention that they deserve and they come back and bite you. Will she get another chance? Well, especially getting towards the the end of the match, some people also, they miss a shot like that because they don't believe in the fact that they, they still can win the match. So sometimes they come up with great shots and when they actually need to run out, they miss a very easy shot because they don't believe they can still win the match. Oh, well, it's a scratch. So there is a chance still for Sophia. One ball at a time, one rack at a time. The shootout is still a possibility. I think the, the cube ball was going anyway, Tim, wasn't it? And just got a little bit of a nudge as well along the way from the eight ball. But I think it was uh, an inaccurate break. Yeah, yeah, she just caught the one ball a little bit more with more draw than the last ones. Now, she does need to be minimum straight and would be nice to have a little angle going to the left side of the side pocket. If you end up with an angle going to the right side, you will have to play a tougher position on the five ball. Yeah, so this, you know, if she... She might have to shoot towards the corner. If she goes to the side, the eight ball could come into play. So recovery shot, four ball in the top left corner. Yeah, she could just stun over, can't she, for the five into the same pocket. So it's not disastrous. Nicely done. It's also these kind of shots. She does play pretty easy. You see here, she stretched for the three ball and the cue ball moved a little forward. So low left. Now she's got a nice angle, one reel towards the seven. Yeah, I think she can just draw it behind the, go to the center issue or she going to the corner. Going to the corner. Played it confidently, so key shot then. It's all about this seven down the rail. Okay, nice shot. Just on the rail could be tricky. Because the cue ball is, has to go forward now. So that means you have to baby the eight and hold the cue ball. If you hit it a little bit too firm, you get off the rail, you don't have a shot on the nine. And now she's got straight on the nine. So that was just how she got on the eight, got, made her very tricky in this position. Can she still force the cue ball off in any way? Can she draw the cue ball with a lot of left? Real first and it was pretty medium speed. She could elevate and say the cue ball off the rail, but oh, that looked a little bit short. Well, long tempo. It's not far off a shootout shot, is it, Tim? Will we be going to a shootout? Well, it's for sure going to depend on this 10 ball. If it doesn't go, she might lose a match. If she makes it, and she does. Oh, the cue ball. Okay, she's good. 3-2.
Yvonne Ullmann Hebler now 2 0 up and one set up against Savannah Easton. All these matches are one loss side, guys. April Larson is down to Ching Jiang. One set and one rack. Kennedy Maiman, though, has taken the first set against Mary Kaufman. And Bajana Sarach has gone through 2 0 against Shirin Valeri. As we see. Sophia Mast, she'll be stepping up to break. You know, referee from the European Pocket Billiards Federation. You know all about them, Tim. You've played a few Euro tours yourself. Did you play any this year? Uh, no, but I actually did do some commentary last week on the latest Euro Tour event in Estonia. So, new experience. I have played the Euro Tour for quite some years. But um, yeah, just it depend it depends on the location and on the expenses, of course. But I'll be back in the future. So also another thing I would want to say is the replay you just seen of Sophia stretching on that long three ball. I just seen that she almost made a foul with her hair. So that was one of the reasons why they gave the replay. She almost fouled with her hair on the ball. Yeah, Not something you say that. Do. Because Christina to catch was very, very close to a ball with her hair in her match as well. That's why you'll see the girls with ponytails high up the back of the head so that there's no chance of the hair going anywhere. But as you can see, the pink ends, she loves to have them on show. Just have to be a little bit careful. Oh, I wouldn't know how it feels because I don't have long hair, so... I won't be able to talk about this experience. Well, I used to uh, have long hair like that, Tim, but it wasn't pink. <laughs> Okay, so let's go now. <laughs> uh, does she get some angle on this three ball? She might be just okay to draw straight over for the four in the top right corner. Yeah, nicely done. Hey, this is a big game. If she can run out, she actually does have a chance to take this match to a shootout. Stretching again. So this is the key now. Get nicely onto the six ball. Cuba going to be going maybe somewhere over towards that ten ball. Just got to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to lose the cue ball here. Yeah, she was trying wow, to hold. Man. She was trying to hold that cue ball. And that's why she's missed it thick. Was sensitive to hold a cue ball there, but that's exactly what she can learn from this mistake. Yeah, there's a lesson in every shot you play, good or bad. This is a real stretch as well. Look at the amount of overhang that she's got of the cue. Little stab. Yeah, not perfect. I mean, it's not not saying she's going to miss the six. More saying if she got almost straight, this wreck would have been so easy. Now she still has to do something on the six ball. She's going to come in between... 10 and the 8, I think, by the looks of it. Still some work, though, Tim, to do. What kind of angle she got on this 7? Can she draw off the side and back over? Or is the side pocket in the way? She might have to draw in between 10 and the 8. Oh, 
great show. Yeah, but those are the, this is really her style too. She likes to play full stroke, no sensitive shots, just keep pounding them in. And that young lady will have learned a lot of lessons today. Well, I also do believe that she, now she does have a couple matches on the, on the stream table with the shot clock that she might actually be able to learn a lot from them too, to rewatch them. Perfectly on this temple then for what turns out to be, it looked very easy at one stage, but Sophia came back and fought Tim. Yeah, so Sophia actually had a chance to make it close, but it didn't happen for her. She'll be back another time, and we'll see Han Yu back later in this tournament. So our next match is, I believe, in 30 minutes. Not too sure, but make sure you're there. Plenty of more of action to come. This was Mark White and myself, Tim De Reuter. See you guys.